happy Monday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I had a really nice hangout with the peeps yesterday. I did about three hours and I got the 7732 muslin sewn. It is interesting. It needs lengthening by about two inches actually, which is interesting because the where, where all the waistline is is two inches above my waistline so it needs lengthening all over and there are no length and short lines on the pattern so i have to make that up that's fine the shoulders are a good sort of inch and a quarter past my shoulder point even with shoulder pads in it that wouldn't quite look right so i need to bring those in quite a bit and i'm gonna slim down the lapels a little bit as well because i don't want this to look like a Victorian walking jacket being worn by somebody who's bought it like a hundred years later. I want it to look like a modern interpretation of it. Yeah, there's quite a lot of work that needs to happen to that jacket to get it to the point where I'd be happy to cut into wool, which means I need to order some more calico because when I was cutting out all the muslins that I cut out, I have got less than a meter of calico left. So I need to get another 20 meters of calico ordered from Minerva, but I won't do that till I get back from London. So I have many, many projects cut out and I think what I am going to do is work on the two sew-alongs that I want to get done first. So the 8167 and then the 6891. I am getting so many messages from people just saying, when is the sew-along coming? I'm doing a collar now and it's not working or why I don't understand the instructions. So um, they're coming. I will get them done as soon as I possibly can. Yeah, so I had a pretty bad pain week last week, which is why the vlogs have been kind of as sporadic as they have been. Thankfully, I actually got some sleep yesterday. I finished the hangout I think about like half two three o'clock ish went back up to mine and have slept through from about then till about nine o'clock this morning I feel so much better for it that's good definitely good definitely not feeling it today which is awesome I also have some coffees to say thank you for and some new patreon peeps to say hi to two sets as, as ever very very unprepared <laughs> waiting it for connect the internet fun times and the email's gone which is weird i'm probably going to say your name incorrectly but georgia price sent me many coffees 15 coffees in total so thank you very very much it's very much appreciated very lovely arlene raycraft has also sent me a couple of coffees as well thank you arlene and arlene has started her own youtube channel which i'll link down below as well she has a wonderful on-screen presence slowest sewer ever but yeah um, i'll link arlene's channel down below as well and the very lovely eva letner has joined the patreon peeps so thank you eva and welcome thank you very much to all of you thank you i am going to get on with filming the 8167. I'm hoping that I can finish that today. It's a really simple dress. I've added some layers of difficulty to it and the ruffle and the gathering, gathering at the bottom is probably the thing that's going to take the longest. The sooner I start, the sooner I should get that finished. So I'm going to get on, get that done. Later. Well, that's worked a lot better. All in one facing. I think maybe... Maybe I need to just tack it down a little bit further down, but that's definitely sitting a lot flatter, which is great. It still looks like a Victorian nightgown until, let's tip you back. Yeah, definitely Victorian nightgown until you add the waist belt, which I mean, I knew was, you know, totally knew that was gonna be the case. I have made a, obviously a fabric one again, but I can see myself wearing this with some of my wider elasticated belts as well. Yeah, it's really pretty. I mean, I knew it was going to be because I really like the burgundy one. Oh, might have to tighten up that elastic. I have finished the dress and I have nearly finished this well I've, I've filmed everything for the sew, on, sew along now I just have to let's tip you up so yeah now I have to edit everything then we'll need to do the root pattern review the twirls but I like it I like it a lot it's a really really pretty dress it's a really easy dress to make it's a great beginner's dress I would say the only difficulty would be getting the sizing right because they said that I should make a large and I've made a small but again I will talk you through doing that but yeah I really like it and I love this fabric I definitely wouldn't have used this fabric on this dress if I only had enough fabric to just do this dress I do prefer kind of dresses that are properly fit and flare but as I had 
seven and a half meters of this it seemed like a great a great way to use it because I've got like a really relaxed dress this one and then I can also make myself either a shirt dress or a maybe an eve dress or something else out of it as well so yeah really pleased with this very pleased with this indeed it's only about six o'clock but i am going to call it a night i don't know how many days of waffle i'm going to have, have strung together because as i say i've done i've done a little bit of waffling every day for the last week i just haven't put anything out yet but i'm going to go up to my room have some dinner susie's down here with me at the moment only because mum put her out so she could go to the loo and the dog doesn't like that so she came down here because she knew she'd get let in so i'm going to take the dog back up with me go and edit play with chi well not play well maybe play with chi she's getting a little bit more playful at the moment and uh, yeah watch some more supernatural about halfway through season eight at the moment very much enjoying it so i hope you've enjoyed the bits that i have filmed over the last couple of days and i will see you very soon for more waffle and hopefully more sew alongs bye good morning lovely peeps welcome back to the sewing room i am going to attempt to sew the 6891 shirt dress sew along today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole thing done. It's actually a fairly simple bodice and skirt. The only tricky part is the collar. It's, it's just the adding in of the filming of the sew along part that might make it so that I don't get it finished today but I'm hopeful. Come down nice and early. It is half past 10 which is early for me and I've already spent this morning editing. I've been up since half past seven so I have got some work done this morning already as well. I have got some fabric that I need to get cut and sent. Very lovely. Anne has ordered five meters of this so I'm going to get that cut out and packaged up so it can get sent out. I also I think I mentioned I found some our neighbour gave mum and I some fabric and there was a purple one in there too so I've put it in in the stash safely there was this purple one and it just immediately made me think of Natida so I'm going to send this over to Natida as well it's her birthday today so happy birthday Natida although by the time you see this it's going to be massively past her birthday it might have been her birthday yesterday it was definitely a birthday yeah I have got lots to do today <laughs> lots to do i tomorrow what day is it today is it tuesday or wednesday today i think it's wednesday isn't it no it's tuesday so i have got tomorrow to either finish filming the um the sew along or to film the intros and outros for it but i'm thinking i might try and do that up in london although wilson's flat is not really conducive to it doesn't really have an amazing place to film in it the background here is nicer so we'll see we'll see because i'm leaving on thursday and i have a really busy morning thursday morning because i have an appointment to get my eyelashes done i've got to clean out all of the shelves in my room as well because whilst i'm away mum and dad are staying in my room so that their bedroom can get decorated and then my room's getting wallpapered once they've moved out so i've got to yeah i've got a busy day on thursday i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes i was convinced today was wednesday Day. I don't know why <laughs> um so anyway I'm going to stop waffling at you because the more I waffle the less sewing I'm doing so I'm going to get this fabric cut out packaged up and ready to get sent then we can cut out some interfacing because I need to cut out lots of interfacing then I can get on with some sewing wish me luck one eternity later it has taken all day but the first piece of cobra corsage is finished not nearly. I still need to sew a press stud at the waist just to hold that down and I have to do that for every single shirt dress I own and I also need to slip stitch the hem into place. Oh but I do have, I have sewn the sash for this one because I sewed the sash for the last one, the um, Flamingo Habitat and I really liked how that looked. did say that I think I would prefer a belt and I probably would like a belt as well but I do like the sash so let me tip you down I'm so happy I love this so this is the bottle green cobra corsage cotton lawn and Wilson bought me four meters of this for Christmas I have managed to cut this and a by hand London Anna top 
out of the four meters. Uh, this is the longest skirt length that they do, which apparently is ballerina length. I thought it was T length, but apparently T length is a little shorter than this. This is technically known as ballerina length. I have filmed the process of making this shirt dress because you guys were asking for a sew along, especially for the collar. So that is all done and now it just needs to be edited. As I say, there is still a little bit of hand sewing to do. I need to slip stitch the opening in the sash closed and I need to slip stitch the bias binding along the outer hem. I have fully lined this dress in black cotton lawn. Technically I didn't need to because the reason that I lined the other one was because the fabric was white and slightly sheer but I just really like the finish that it gave me especially around the armholes. There are armhole facings for this pattern but I just prefer fully lining it. I like how the insides look. I have talked you through fully lining this dress as well. Has pockets! pockets is so yeah I'm really really pleased with this really pleased with this I love this colorway I am going to take this to London with me because I can totally wear this with the skinny kind of tea, uh, mock turtleneck t-shirt that I've got in the mustardy tan color with my mustard boots and a mustard belt that's going to look really nice it's going to go really well with my girty trench coat that I've done and it's just gonna it, it's gonna work really well with all the other bits of clothing that I've left up in London because I've done left a lot of the Savannah collection up there, but the the solid pieces of it. Although there's a couple of Savannah dresses up there as well and the beach pajamas. So I'm gonna wear this up to London, and I really, really, really like it. So first piece of Cobra corsage is done, and it's only taken me until the 8th of February. <laughs> But as you guys have seen, I've got loads of it cut out, so that's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's nearly half past eight. In fact, I think it's probably actually quarter to nine. So I am going to call it a night now because I am hungry and I am tired and my voice is getting very croaky because I have been talking a lot today. But I am over the moon with how this has come out. Really, really like it, which is a good job because I've also cut it out of this exact dress out of the cream Chantilly base of this print. I knew I was gonna like it. This might well rival the 8577 for a favorite shirt dress. I think I prefer the 8577 if I have the five meters of fabric just because the skirt is so epic on that dress and the pockets are amazing. But this skirt on this one is really, really nice. And as I say, I think I can get this out of, I had four meters of this fabric and I have got a top out of it as well. So I think I can get this out of three and a half meters of fabric. So very, very happy with this. Very happy with this indeed. And this colourway is gorgeous, which is why I asked for it on Viscose as well. And I've got a 7537 waiting to be made up. So I am going to call it a night now. I hope you've enjoyed the very little bit that I've filmed over the last couple of days, because I think I've only filmed two clips for the last two days. Beginning of the day and then the end of the day when I finished the dress. So I think I shall smoosh these two days together. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for, I don't know what, more sewing? Could I get another dress done before I go? Possibly, we shall see. You'll, 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 <laughs> I don't know yet, but editing me will know, so yes. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna stop waffling at you cause late food stuff. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.